All right, hey everyone, Smitty here. I wanted to share a story about what I've been going through the last couple of days on my fat loss phase. What I've been going through is a, um, a strong way to put it. What I'm experiencing or what's happening the last couple of days on my uh, fat loss journey. Uh, I wanted to share it because I think, I think it could be really helpful um, for people to understand the nuance involved in calories in versus calories out, fat loss in general, and how when we change something, where we change an input or we change an output, the body also adjusts and changes things. So I just feel like sharing the story because I feel like I like sharing uh, and hopefully you can learn something from it. So just to share what happened, uh, fat loss has been going great lately, waking up lighter every couple of days, feeling really good. Um, and then on Friday, I had a huge day. Well, long day, up early, home late, something like 19 hours didn't have food on me so went and bought some fruit and dairy and just had that all day I ended up training that day which I wasn't going to I had band practice at night which went till about 11 p.m. and it's four hours of playing music which although I'm just standing in place now that I think of it it's really demanding I'm thinking I'm moving a little bit of singing just playing it's not like the type of stuff where it's exercise like you're sweating but it's a lot of focus and intent and that uses energy, that uses ATP, or some people like to call it, that burns calories. I'm using a lot of energy doing that. So all up, it was a really expensive day. I used a lot of energy, and I was really happy with how I got through the day. I had a lot of carbs and sugar, and my mood was great for the whole day, like it is right now. Uh, and I was really just kind of happy with how I got through it, right? I woke up the next day. I don't even know if I'm gonna use this. Should I use this? I know, I woke up, um, so I went from 80.6 on Thursday morning, Friday morning, sorry, and then I woke up the next day at 80, 80 to 80.2. I put in the group that I weighed 80.2, but it was about a 600 gram loss in one day, which is a lot, that's too much, okay? Now, I woke up Saturday and thought, that's too much of a drop in one day, I need to make sure that I eat more today. I already know that, I already knew that I needed to do that. The mistake I made, guys, was I didn't really eat up till night time. I had some ice cream and some popcorn at night, maybe an extra, it's hard to say, maybe an extra three or 400 calories that day. Enough where I thought I might wake up on Saturday morning, I thought I'd wake up at about 80.3 or four. I thought I'd wake up right in between where I had been. Instead, I woke up at 80.7 and I was like, okay, bit of a bounce back, wasn't expecting that. And then the next day, Sunday morning, guys, 81.4. I haven't been this weight in the morning in like two weeks or, I don't know, a while. And I was shocked. I was shocked. I didn't expect it. And that's what I wanted to make this video about. I knew when I had the really low energy day, as in not a lot of energy coming in on Friday, I knew I'd wake up light and, uh, and there'd be some effects. And that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. I wanted to use this, and anyway guys, so what's happened is I woke up at 81.4 this morning, sorry, that was this morning, Monday morning. Right now, it's about 12 hours later, I've been to a couple of jobs, eaten, had a bunch of coffees, and I'm back, I'm still 81.4. I'm gonna go to bed tonight at about 81.7, wake up at about 81 tomorrow. So we're, we're on the way back down, and I'm starting to feel back to life. So that's the story, right? What I wanted to use was use this example of what would you call it, like a rebound. My body's rebounding from that long day that I did. Long day, physical day, a uh, lot of steps, exercise, driving, thinking, working, a few different jobs, huge day. I wanted to use this as a microcosm. I wanted to use this as an example of what a lot of people, I believe, are going through with their health problems, the obesity problem, We've got people that have starved themselves or their body is starved of energy through dieting or just through a damaged metabolism, which can happen through dieting. And what's happening is what happened to me on a macro scale. Mine's just a day or two, but it's a great example of what the body does. Probably don't need this anymore. I'm gonna keep holding it anyway. What the body does when we expend a lot of energy and don't take a lot of energy in. The body doesn't just go, Fuck yeah, fat loss phase, let's go. Doesn't just play along with you and say, yeah, fat loss, let's just get rid of fat. Finally, finally, you can get rid of fat. 
That's not what it does. It turns into survival mode basically, and it wants to protect itself, protect its tissue. And what I noticed on Saturday, I woke up okay, a bit groggy from a big day. Uh, I had a PT at 11. I came home and my plan was to get some sun, a day off from training, get some steps in, enjoy the day. I didn't have a lot to do. And by midday guys, I was in bed having a nap. I couldn't go for a walk all day. I did like 7,000 steps. I was tired. I was less patient now that I'm thinking about it. About it, I was less euphoric, I was less talkative, I was less creative. I wasn't miserable by any means. I just thought it was just a relaxing day. So I didn't enjoy being in the sun as much, although it was pretty hot that day. Anyway, my metabolism, guys, my metabolism was so far out because it received, I probably had 2000 calories for the day and I expended 3000, okay? Probably more, honestly, I just I expended so much that day, I was up for so long. The next day, my metabolism goes down. The symptoms of a low metabolism is tiredness, ZZZ, all the things I just mentioned, lack of creativity, lack of patience. My brain just wasn't even as fast as it is right now. No coffee could, could do it. Sorry, I'm just distracted by the door. Okay, so where was I? Okay, so what I experienced guys in one day, that's what people are going through that are dieting for weeks or months on end. If you're avoiding carbs, if you're avoiding sugar, what's gonna happen is your body doesn't just say, okay, this is a fat loss phase, I'll play along. It tries to conserve energy. It's first thing it's gonna do, if, it, if it's got a thousand calories that it's missing, it's not just gonna release fat, it's gonna slow things down and you're gonna feel that. That could be why, you, I mean, I'm not speaking to you exactly, but that could be why people are tired. That could be why people are less patient, less creative, depressed. Their body is literally depressed. Their metabolism in, is in conservation mode. And that's what I noticed, honestly, up until like Sunday night. Like it was pretty much the whole weekend, I was just a little bit off. Um, now that I look back on it, even when I was at the gym on Sunday, I wasn't as euphoric or excited as I normally am. I was happy to be there and the session went pretty well. But man, I was just a little bit down. And this is after one day of like a crash diet or something like that. So keep this in mind when dieting, we need to diet by, um, we've got calories in, calories out. Kiko, Seiko, all right? Calories in, calories out. Instead of thinking, how can I limit calories in and just not give my body much, although that is a part of it, the real thing is, how can I get my body to give more? Right now, guys, I am using more energy than I was yesterday, just by talking like this, the thinking about it during the day about what to say, okay? And I'm feeling this way because I gave myself just enough energy and enough nutrients and sugar that my calories out is now decent, my calories in can be monitored, I'll be just a little bit hungry, and I'm gonna lose fat without this big thousand calorie crash, okay? You need to increase your calories out. That doesn't mean expending more energy either is in going for more runs i should say that's just that exercise is just one part of calories out playing chess look up chess players and studies they've done a strenuous chess game or a long chess game i don't even know if it's a long chess game but that's burning a lot of energy a lot of calories okay so you, when we're doing calories in calories out you can't just think i'm just going to limit my food and exercise more your body will turn on the z -z -z mode you will just your body will down regulate and then when that happens to you, you'll ask people like me, where do I get the willpower? Which is another conversation that I had with Bailey last week. I've always been asked, where do you get the willpower from? And the reason people think that I have willpower is because they're feeling like this. I get it now. I was there on the weekend. You're in tired mode thinking that I must be in tired mode as well. And I'm going to the gym all the time and I'm creative and I'm this and I'm sleeping well. But I'm not here, guys. This isn't fat loss zone. Fat loss isn't about just grinding out and just feeling terrible the whole time and forcing yourself to go to gym, forcing yourself not to eat things. That's not what it is. And if, you, if you've had that approach before, you've probably damaged your metabolism while doing it. So now when you eat just 2000 calories or something, that is too much for your body now because your body is going down like this. It keeps lowering its metabolism. So when people say, is it calories in, calories out? It is, it is thermodynamics, but looking at it as therefore I need to limit my calories in just makes your metabolism go further and further down.
and now 2,000 calories, 1,800 calories is making you go up in weight. Hope this makes sense. I got a little bit excited. I've been thinking about this video all day. Um, so yeah, I'll keep, keep you guys updated on how things go. I think that's all I really wanted to say about it. I'll probably think of more better things to say later, but uh, my weight's dropping again. And I just urge you guys, if you're gonna count calories, which can be useful, to make sure that you're not burning the candle at both ends, okay? Thanks for listening. Sorry for yelling. Happy Monday. See you guys.